Hey guys, okay, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Rob, where have you been? Um, what, what have you been working on? Well, I've been working on Inverter, of course, and I hope you've been there to check it out because we've gotten some great feedback and we've made a lot of changes. Maybe some stuff you haven't seen. In fact, I'm gonna tell you about two things today that I think you're really gonna like and, and you're gonna wanna share this because I think a lot of people are gonna wanna use this. So, let me switch over and let's check it out. I want to get right to the thing that's really cool that I'm really excited about, and it has to do with maps. And it's a custom feature made just for groups. So uh, let me first jump in and go to the Sasquatch North America group. So what you'll see is that now at the heading of the group, we've got a custom group map. Now this map will actually have the location of every uh, location post that's been, that's been made in the group. So the cool thing about that is now you can look for trends in this uh, in this larger map and see maybe you know where things are happening. Uh, and it is a full Google map, so the nice thing is you can you can really get in there and drill down and uh, you know change change how it works and find out what's going on. I think this would be great for research. So uh, let me just jump out of that and say, uh, how do we get things on this map and how does this work? Well, you can see one post right here. This is the Patterson-Gimlin film uh, location, and I've placed that here. And then if we look on the map, we can find that. Um, I think that one is the one we're looking at right here. Yep, that's it. There's the coordinates, Patterson-Gimlin film. And if I click to open that post, it will actually do that, take me to the post. There's uh, a discussion I've already started about uh, where's this information has come from, and we've started that in the comments. So I think that's going to be a great way to talk about uh, you know events and sightings that happen. Uh, all right. So, but how do we get here? Like, how do, how do we get to this point? So, what if what if I wanted to add a new sighting or a new location? Well, um, let's do that. Let's say uh, uh, saw a really tall dude uh, out back. Um, and this was, let's say, January 10, 2020. Just putting some basic information there. Uh, I can add more details of what happened, of course. But uh, in this case, I want to get right to how this works. So we're going to create a location post. So the location allows me to dive in and pick the exact point at which uh, I, uh, I, I uh, had my encounter, right? So uh, the map starts out where you are. I'm in Santa Monica, so the map starts where I'm at. And uh, let's just pick a spot in the mountains here and let's drill in and say, well, I saw this guy right here beside the road. So I, I can actually do a search. Um, I could search for a location like say Hidden Springs and it's gonna put me there. But instead of having a, an approximation, if I wanna say, nah, this guy was right here next to the creek, you'll see that it actually changes to the specific GPS coordinates, which I think is really gonna help a lot. Uh, we'll be able to see a lot more fine detail about where things are. So uh, now I'm ready to post that because I've put my location in, my details, and I'll just hit share. Now, I've created a location post, but I haven't updated this page yet. So the Google map at the top won't yet know that there's been a new location added. All we have to do is refresh the page. So I'll just refresh that page and now the map will expand to show all of the locations that have been posted. And as you can see, there's a new one down here. Let's check it out. Yep, it's all really tall dude out back. So uh, I hope you like that. Uh, really, really uh, hope that that feature helps uh, sites like uh, the Bigfoot sites and other uh, paranormal sites that are searching for things that uh, are out in the wild and want to keep track of those locations. So in any case, um, love to see how you guys use that. Now there is another way to do this and you don't have to rely on the default map that, uh, that we've, we've integrated in. You can use your own map that you create. So that allows you to choose which posts will appear. So let's say we didn't wanna just have any post that gets created show up on our map. We wanna actually have our own custom map. Well, there's a way to do that. All right, so why don't we, let's go and visit another group and create another one. How about um, UFO historical accounts, right? So uh, there happens to be a really cool map that was created with Google's My Map features. 
by uh, Blue Blurry Lines. That, uh, that blog is uh, really cool. A lot of great information there. And uh, they've created a map for the Cash Landrum event. So I thought, well, let's, uh, let's integrate that as if, as if this was a group that was specific to this particular event. So the way we do that is we jump up here and grab the embed code, right? And I will show you where to put that. So I'm gonna copy that information from iframe to iframe, right? And now let's visit our site. Let's go edit that. And now you'll see there's some uh, additional features if you create a group uh, that have been added. And one is whether you wanna show the default map or an embedded map, which is what we want. And then I'm just gonna paste in the embed code for our, our custom map. It says the code is okay. It's just checking to see if that's a Google map code. Now we've saved it. And now when I go back in, we'll load up that custom map. So this could be a map that you're controlling the post on. And the great thing is this map has a ton more information. Um, you, you can add, of course, pictures in, you can add the links in, and you can control the order in which things appear. So um, also you enable people to share that map as well. So there's two ways now for you to control uh, what happens in your group and really get people integrated and, and sharing. So uh, let me know how you decide to use this and if those are actually features that you think will work for you. Um, th there's a lot more that we can improve on and I, and I really wanna hear your feedback. So uh, I look forward to seeing you on Inverter. If you have any suggestions, let me know. You can do it in the groups or you can text me directly. And uh, I do appreciate it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.